Using AI to create trees like these and using them in Unreal Engine or Blender to create an entire forest like this is surprisingly easy and it's super fast. Here is what I did. In order to create the base image of my trees, I used Midjourney. The thing is, you really need to know what kind of prompts to use in order to generate images that give you the best results for your needs. In this case, you want to create trees in side view with a white background. In my case, I wanted to create different species of dark conifer trees. I wanted them to be quite tall and thin and I used the prompt sheet turnaround to make sure Midjourney doesn't create an entire forest with overlapping trees. Then I added these prompts and tried out a few variations. I then used PixelCut's free AI image upscaling function to increase the resolution. Then I imported the whole thing into Photoshop. Here I used the color range selection to get rid of the white background. If you don't have Photoshop, you can use Jim, Photop or PixelCut's free background eraser. Just make sure you export the image with an alpha channel. In order to create the trees in Unreal, I used Blender. Using the images as planes add-on, I imported the image of my trees. Rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis and make sure the size is about right. The easiest way to do this is to import a model of a mannequin and take a more or less educated guess. To separate the trees, I use the loop cut tool and hit P, separate by selection. If your trees are overlapping, you can just use the knife tool instead. Put each one in the center of your scene because this is later going to be the pivot point of the meshes. Go to File, Export FBX and make sure Path Mode is set to Copy and this thing is enabled. This way the texture is saved right within the FBX file. After importing the files into Unreal, you are greeted with this, which has a few obvious problems. The trees are shiny, the background is still white, and if you view the trees from the side, it becomes quite obvious that it's just a flat plane. In order to fix this, double click on the material and do the following things. Set the material to masked and check two-sided. Then plug the alpha channel into the masked slot and the background is gone. To get rid of the shiny look, hold down the one key on your keyboard and left click to create a parameter. It's already set to zero, which is perfect, so you can just drag it into the specular slot. Now comes the tricky part. Our trees are just flat images, which is okay as long as you don't view them from the side. To fix this, we have to tell Unreal to rotate the trees alongside the camera. And this material setup is quite advanced. So instead of doing it the hard way, we are just going to copy it. The moment you import anything from Quixel Bridge into Unreal, this MS Presets folder is created. Look for this billboard material and open it. Copy this part and paste it into your own material. Plug it into the world position offset, save it and that's it. Of course, this isn't a one-fits-all solution. It's just an image on a plane, nothing more. It doesn't react to lighting, and when moving through the scene, you can actually see the trees rotate. But for background elements or large-scale environments, it's actually pretty usable, especially for lower-end computers or laptops. This is a fantastic alternative to many tree packs you'll find on the marketplace. Of course, I know that many people think that using AI in your art is, or at least feels like, cheating. Using elements you didn't create yourself is always a bit weird. But at the end of the day, I also used assets from Quixel and I didn't create them either. By using tools like Midjourney, I can at least influence what my trees or whatever I create look like. I can use Photoshop to alter the results and, well, it's just one element of my final scene. The scene itself was still put together by myself. And I think that is the best and maybe the most creative way to use generative AI. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Thanks for watching.